Hello guys! How are you today? Today, we're going to discuss about scientific method. And guys, please watch my video. Hello everyone, once again, this is Sir Boyet. Our topic is to describe the components of scientific investigation. I have a big question. How do you find solutions with your daily problems? To deal with our daily problems, everyone must think of possible solution to every problem being encountered using previous experiences or asking questions or advices may be of great help to solve the problem but it would be easier to solve problem when one would think logically and critically such that one would follow certain steps in solving problems What is scientific method? Scientific method refers to a set of procedures that scientists follow in order to solve a problem or to gain knowledge around the world. The scientific method explained. There are several parts of the scientific method and most of us are familiar with the steps through laboratory experiments, but we do not go into great detail with the explanations. So, the following list questions should ask ourselves as we work our projects. What are the steps of scientific method? Steps. Number one, identify the problem. Two, formulate hypothesis. Three, test the hypothesis. 4. Observe and gather data. 5. Interpret data. 6. Draw a conclusion. And number 7. Communicate results. Number 1. Identify the problem. Problem or purpose of the experiment. This should be written in statement form. What is your goal? What idea are you trying to test? What is the scientific question you are going to to answer. An investigator has observed that chicken lay more eggs at certain times of the year. It has also been observed that this occurs during the late spring and summer months. An inference has been made that the extra eggs are due to longer daylight hours. Amount of daylight and chicken eggs production are the variables that that investigator has decided to investigate. Example of a problem or research question. To what amount does the length of daylight affect chicken egg production? Example of hypothesis. If the length of daylight increases, then chicken eggs production will increase. What are the steps? Number two, formulate hypothesis. Hypothesis, this is statement, usually beginning with if or I believe. Explain how you think your project can demonstrate your purpose. Make a prediction regarding the outcome of the experiment. State the result you are predicting in measurable terms. Steps for writing a good hypothesis Identify variables in a given event or relationship. Identify pair of variables that might be logically related. Identify manipulated and responding variables. Write the hypothesis using the following format. 
if the manipulated variable increases or decreases, then the responding variable will increase or decrease. Here is an example of hypothesis. If the temperature of seawater increases, then the amount of salt that will dissolve in the water increases. Here's the explanation. Water temperature and amount of dissolved salt are the variables used in this hypothesis. The investigator is predicting that warmer water will have more dissolved salt than cold water. An investigator can design an experiment that manipulates the temperature of several samples of water from the same source. Dissolved salt levels can then be measured in each sample. Analysis of the data would indicate the extent to which the salt salt levels are related to water temperature. Number three, test the hypothesis. Give a detailed explanation of how you will conduct the experiment to test your hypothesis. Be clear about the variables, elements of the experiment that change to test your hypothesis versus your controls, elements of the experiments that do not change. Variables are sometimes referred to as the manipulated or independent variable, responding or dependent variables, and controlled variable. Manipulated or the independent variables are the variables that can be changed or manipulated during an experiment. Responding or dependent variables are variables that are in response to the change made. Controlled variables are the variables that do not change during the experiment. Be very specific about how you will miss your result to prove or disprove your hypothesis. You should include a regular timetable for measuring results or observing the projects. Your procedure should be in detail. Another person should be able to perform your experiment following your procedure. List all materials and equipment that were used. Your list of materials should include all the ingredients of the project procedure. Number four, observe and gather data. Keep a detailed journal of observations, data, and result. Your journal should contain data measurements, written notes about what you are sensing, like seeing, smelling, hearing, touching. About your experiment, if appropriate photographs on your projects, the projects to help your analysis and possibly to demonstrate your experiment on your exhibit board. Number five, interpret data. Explain your observations, data, and results. This is a summary of what your data has shown you. List the main points that you have learned. Why did the result occur? What did your experiment prove? Was your hypothesis correct? Did your experiment prove or disprove your hypothesis? This should be explained thoroughly. Number six. Draw a conclusion. Answer your problem purpose statement. What does it all up to? What is the value of your project? What further study do you recommend given the result of your experiment? What would be the next question to ask? If you repeated this project, what would you change? Number seven, communicate results. Write a report. Write a detailed report about your project. 
Tell exactly what you did, how you did it, and what you discovered. Be sure you write all about your plan and your experiment. Include your data and perhaps some charts and graphs to help readers interpret the information. Be sure you also include some of the background information you learned. Now, let us recall. Why is scientific method important? It is important not only for scientists but also for every person since it will serve as his her guide to come up with an appropriate solution to the problem. Why is there a need for you to observe first? There's a need to observe first because it will allow one to be more acquainted with the situation. What will you do after observing? Questions must be made about the observed things which may be the problem in the given situation. How would you describe a problem? A problem is a question which can be tested through an experiment. How to write a problem? Writing problem requires an existing knowledge on the topic or issue. It may start with which is, are, and how. It should end up with question mark. How would you describe a hypothesis based from a problem or an observation? A hypothesis is a temporary answer or solution to the problem. What are the things to consider in making hypothesis? It must be testable that one can be able to verify through investigation. In addition, it should make sense to anyone who will read and it should answer the problem. How to write a hypothesis? In writing hypothesis, one can begin with an observation followed by an explanation or prediction. How did you design your experiment? First, the materials should be gathered. Then you will have to create a step-by-step -step procedure. What should be identified in your experimental design? The factors or variables should be identified like the materials used because they may be possibly interfere with the result of the experiment. How many setups are there in your experiment and why? There should be more than one setup in order to compare the results as well as to is in the replication of the experiment. With this, an accurate and reliable answer or solution to the problem. What should be considered in designing an experiment? One must consider the Design, it should be a fair test. Thus, it should be done in a way that only one factor is changed at a time while keeping the other. What to do after testing one's hypothesis? After testing the hypothesis through an experiment, one must gather data, analyze and present it systematically. How to determine 
whether the formulated hypothesis is the answer or solution to the problem. A hypothesis must be tested by experimentation. And how to test the hypothesis? A hypothesis can be tested by an investigation or an experiment. How would you describe an experiment? An experiment is an ordered investigation which are intended to prove or disprove a hypothesis. What would be the type of variables which are present in an experiment? One is change independent, the rest are the same or constant and the other will be based on observation as a response to the factor being change dependent 